uncheck this mark uh, uncheck this then uh, sids won't be generated unique data records if you check this then only unique data records will be shown if you uncheck this there will be redundant data uh, and uh, uh, set quality status to ok automatically if you check this then it will automatically set the quality status i will show i will tell you quality status later and uh, uh, you can uh, activate data automatically for example if you check this mark uh, that means uh, for the standard dso we don't have to activate uh, uh, manually it will be uh, activated uh, once the data is loaded and uh, the data will be available for reporting automatically so update data automatically if you check this mark here it will be the data will be updated to the further data targets automatically for example cube uh, and uh, uh, so uh, that is the use of this so those are the functions we, uh, which are available in settings apart from the uh, here type of the data data store object in type of the data store object we have three data three types of data store objects which we discussed yesterday like a standard dso right uh, direct update and write optimized we are using standard dso for uh, and uh, all this uh, options here sid generation and uh, activation of data automatic activation of data makes sense for the standard dso's because in write optimized dso uh, we don't have these options so after creating that we have to activate this So here it is successfully activated. For example, if you go to the manage you will see the options like uh, requests and reconstruction and contents if you go to the contents you will see info objects all the info objects there so you will see one uh, info object more which is zero record mode which is created there and uh, we just uh, uh, talked about the zero record mode here it has uh, uh, six types of records uh, different records it can uh, provide as per the record and as per the status of the record it will show these statuses to identify the record and uh, uh, these data will be provided by the source system here uh, for the source system uh, for example uh, a source system is a protocol that enables bw to know where to find data and uh, how to extract those data so for that purpose uh, the source system will provide uh, how to extract that data and uh, uh, all the information about the data so uh, if you are loading data from the uh, sap then you will get all this information so you have new data table active data table change log table here So here this is called uh, uh, the tables here you can uh, see that uh, there is a name for the table slash bic slash 
b so you if you want to check the records you can uh, check like uh, you can execute it and check the records there uh, i was uh, speaking about the records available for example uh, uh, in uh, the difference between active data table and the chain log table yesterday this is how you can check the differences uh, when you load the data now we go to the data sources we are going to create a data source in 7.0 so let's create the data source the type of the data source is transaction data so in data source we have four uh, i mean uh, four tabs in data source here uh, we have uh, extraction fields and we have preview here in extraction for example uh, if you want to preview then we have to give the file here and all the details here and we can uh, uh, see the preview in uh, i mean when we load the when we get the data so for that we have to get we have to give all the info objects here here you have a, a field called template info objects so you have to give all the info objects here for that purpose so we have to copy the info objects and paste it here so once you paste all the info objects you have to click enter and then copy so for each info object you have to click copy and there will be a system will create the reference objects like currency and unit you have to click okay so we got all the layout here so according to that we have to sort our uh, uh, i mean uh, for flat file customer id material number invoice number material cost zero currency invoice number bill amount zero currency profit after sales okay
material cost unit and material quantity now we have the it in uh, same place unit and material quantity it's all right so we can uh, save it now here it is a csv file make sure it is saved very well so after the after creating the structure for example there are options we need to discuss in data source like uh, we have